Hi everyone, this is Robin Zell. I'm the Director of Marketing with Singles Travel International and we have a treat for you today. We've got Dennis Sprang with Avalon Waterways and we have worked up some amazing offers for our singles to come travel with us and do a river cruise. I see by our poll that 86% of you have never been in a river cruise, but it's on your bucket list. So you've come to the right place. We're here to help you out and make sure that you get all the information you need to make a great decision because we have some amazing itineraries and we're going to share those with you today. I just wanted to let everyone know not to worry if you have barking dogs or anything like that. We are all in mute mode except for the presenters, so we, we can't hear you. But you can also go down to the chat and always send us a question and just say hi and tell us where you're from and we'll try to keep an eye on that. We're going to hold our questions until the end, but if you're thinking of a question, Go ahead and type it in there, and then when we get to the end, we'll go through them all, and maybe it'll be answered. Um, maybe we need to expand on it, but we just want to make sure you have as much as information as possible because we have a lot of people looking at this and not enough space. <laughs> so <laughs> we want to make sure that everyone gets their questions answers and gets something fun on their calendar for the next year because this is an amazing way to see the world, absolutely. So I'm going to introduce Denise. Denise is our rep from Avalon, and she's going to give you a great presentation. And hopefully we're going to get started pretty quick here. Okay? All right. Ready to go, Denise? You want me to get started now? Or? Uh, All right. Yeah, I'm absolutely. ready. All Five right. after. Five after. We've got, we're almost full. And you, can, we're good. and you guys can all see my screen, right? Yes, I can see it. Okay. Perfect. Hi, everybody. How are you? I am Denise with Avalon Waterways. So I am the business development manager for Avalon Waterways. And uh, I stop in on the travel agencies in my area and Singles Travel International is one of my top accounts. And we have been doing quite well with Avalon Waterways. We seem to found a niche here with small ship cruising. So I was talking to Singles Travel International yesterday, and she was just saying how you guys are all getting into small ship cruising. So how do you like this picture? Uh, I think we're all ready to uh, see. This is actually our marketing director in this picture sitting in the back <laughs> of the ship. Uh, so this is our club lounge that's in the back of our ship. Uh, this is actually my favorite part of the ship, and all of our ships have these club lounges in the back. And uh, they're actually quite wonderful. So it's just funny, Jen. I love this picture. So we're going to go first talk about Avalon Waterways. And um, we're going to talk about the ships. Hey, you know what, Robin? I think you're echoing because I think you might have me on speaker. Mm, no, I don't hear anything. I hear you just fine. You hear something? No. You can hear me? Okay, because I hear myself mm -hmm. echoing a little bit. Okay. All right. So we're going to talk about Avalon Waterways. We're first going to talk about the ship, uh, what to experience on a river cruise. I know uh, Robin was just saying, what was it, 84% of you have not been on a river cruise. So let's just first talk about river cruising and the experience on river cruising and just a little bit about Avalon and the differences with Avalon because the thing is now, you know, river cruising has been really popular in the last 10 years and there are a lot more companies coming out and river cruising in Europe is the fastest growing segment right now of cruising and just to tell you just a couple selling points with Avalon a couple things that make us a little bit different this is number one here is the view so all of our ships will look like this next year so all of the itineraries that we're talking about for next year uh, will be on a sweet ship so what is a sweet ship this is a sweet ship right here. Uh, we do have cabins on the bottom. I know some of you are booked in some of the category D's and E's on the bottom. Those cabins are 172 square feet with a good size window. So the one thing about Avalon is that we don't have small cabins. Our smallest cabin is 172 square feet. So for those of you that are pairing up with people, um, and I know I've traveled on Avalon with a roommate before, there is plenty of room because the cabins are larger. All of the cabins above the D's and the E's, which are on the bottom with the windows, everything above that looks just like this. The bed face is out. This is a 200 square foot cabin. So you'll see there's a 11 foot sliding glass door. 
you have a sofa right there, you have a chair right there. So basically your cabin is the balcony. So your big difference is that you do have larger cabins with Avalon. You have less people on board because the most that we'll have on board is 166 passengers, where our competitors have about 190. Um, also, you have Globus, which is a tour operator. We are celebrating 90 years this year. So you have a large tour operator backing up Avalon in case you ever have any, you know, water level issues like high water, low water, or anything like that. Um, you have a big tour operator to back up Avalon. So how do you like this too? So, and again, we're going to talk about small ship cruising. So when you look at this, you know, the rivers aren't very wide, so you have scenery on both sides. The ship docks, you get off, all of your walking tours are all included in the price. You get a free, um, you get a few walking tours, which is nice. Um, we, we probably have about two during the day, just depending on which river cruise you're on. Um, and we'll talk about the flow of Avalon and what the experience will be like. So these are the bathrooms of Avalon. So you'll see they're quite nice. Actually, the wall behind the bed is on a little bit of an angle. And what that did is it opened up the bathroom to a hotel style bathroom. So a very large bathroom, which is nice. And that's actually L'Occitane products, which is a very high end product. So right there is about 40 euros of a really nice French product, which is nice. It's funny, whenever I go on Avalon, I stock up for the holidays and put that in my family's talking <laughs> should save up the shampoo and the conditioner Make money on uh, so these are the lounges how do you like that right so all you guys that are going maybe this year stock up for christmas right <laughs> <laughs> so um this year these are the lounges so you'll see these are very nice lounges uh the lounge that's up on the top right uh this is our main lounge so this is where they'll have the pork talk this is where the dance floor is. This is where the piano player is. The main bar, which is very important, right? This is where your main bar is. And we have local entertainment some evenings. Some evenings it's just a piano player. Um, I was on this past summer. We had a farmer come on from Vienna and had all of his local food. So they set that all up in this main lounge. And again, what's nice is what I mentioned before, the most that we'll have on board is 166 people, and everybody fits in here. I hear with our competitors, because they have 190, it's really tight, because, you know, these ships can only be so long and so wide um, because of the locks that we go through. Um, so it's nice that there's plenty of room for everybody on these ships. Um, the lounge that's on the left here, um, this is on the back of the main lounge, which is nice, so this is a nice area to sit. This is another one of our club lounges it's at the back of the ship. All of our ships have these club lounges in the back. And this is a nice place to go. I always like my cabin to be right here because there is a coffee machine back here that has your cappuccino, your hot milk for your hot chocolate, your lattes. So we actually have a second one of those machines in the main lounge. But this is just a lot of people go here to read. It's just nice because you'll see this is surrounded by windows. Scenery is great. There's snacks back here. So the other reason, too, that we have the lounge back here, see this picture here? This is where the thrusters are. So we don't have any cabins in the back of the ship, which is really nice. So you don't get that vibration. Some of our competitors have their nicest cabins in the back here. Hmm. So this is the Tranquility Troop, too. This is one of our sweet ships. So I was mentioning the D's and the E's that are on the bottom. See those windows that are on the bottom towards the back of the slide? Those are the cabins that are on the bottom that are your D's and the E's. Those are 172 square feet. All the cabins above that are your 200 square foot cabins. And we do have two royal suites that are 300 square feet. In the front there on the bottom, that's our dining room with the glass. And then above that is the main lounge and another part of my favorite part of the ship is the sun deck that's up on the top. Up on the sun deck, it's so nice up there. There's a lot of covered areas, but it's just nice just to sit up there and just watch the scenery go by. Mm -hmm. So the way it works with our meals is we have an early riser breakfast, then we have a buffet breakfast, and then usually after breakfast, everybody gets off the ship, 
We have headsets, which means you have a bud in your ear, your guide has a microphone so you can hear your guides. Um, with you guys as a group, they usually give you guys all the same headsets so you're all together. You'll have a walking tour that's all included in the price. And once we get into the itineraries, I'm gonna read some of what's included during a typical day and your different choices. So after your walking tour, you have free time, get back on the ship, we have lunch. Lunch is either, well, dining room, we have a buffet, you can order from the menu. In the lounge, we have a light lunch set up, but then also if the weather's nice, we'll have a little cookout outside with a guitar player. Then usually we stop again, another walking tour. But what's nice again is we just dock, you get off, you're right in town. There are some towns where you may have to motor coach just because they're not along the river, like Heidelberg or something like that. Then you have more free time, get back on the ship. Is it seven? Dinner is from seven to nine. One thing that's new for next year is we will have flex signing from seven to 8.30. And then what that means is you don't have to sit there for two hours, but Beer and wine is included for lunch with refreshments, and beer and wine is included for dinner with refreshments. So if you do um, drink beer and wine, I suggest sitting there for the full two hours because you have free beer and wine. Um, also keep in mind we do have happy hour, and that's two for one an hour before dinner. So these are just a couple pictures of the dining room, so pretty nice. It's nice because all the seats have you know, a view of the water, which is nice. Hey, Denise, I just want to break in. So this is our flex. Let me break yeah. in for a minute. I just want to let you know, we're at 90. Right now we're uh, at 90 people. So hang in there, guys. I see that. The hundreds are max. And once, if you go out and come back in, you're not going to be able to get back in. And we have a really great offer at the end. Oh. So I want you to just hang in there. And this is all really interesting. I'm loving this. So go ahead, Denise. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Good, yeah, so don't leave us, right? <laughs> That's right. So these are just some of the dining venues that I met, mentioned. Um, I've been on almost all of our river cruises now, except for the Falcon Discovery, which I know Tammy is interested in doing for 2020. It's just that we don't have a lot of departures on there, so it's really tough to get a group on. But I was on an active cruise, which we'll talk about here in a bit. And see that picture on the top right? You probably can't tell really what you're looking at. But that is actually our lunch. We're parked at Rudishine, and that's just our little cookout at lunchtime. And again, you know, the towns are right. It's just the coolest way to travel. Um, the bottom left-hand side, this is the lounge during dinner. So you have an option of either going to dinner, you can do the flex dining, you can sit there for two hours, whichever. But the bottom left here, this is in the lounge, and this is just a light dinner that we have set up. Um, we're, we're trying to see what works. It's like a little tapas wine night, and you can just grab a couple things if you just want to eat a light dinner. The bottom right here, it's a picnic lunch. We think this is funny because it's really not in a basket, but you can take a picnic lunch with you. If you want to go for a bike ride, which we'll talk about here in a bit, you can take a picnic lunch with you. So just a few things, because uh, Robin mentioned 84% of you have not been on a river cruise. So this slide is very important. This just shows you in comparison, a river cruise compared to a big ship cruise. And I know I've been on one of those mega ships that have 6,000 passengers. So the most that we'll have on board is 166 passengers. So the thing about river cruising is you're paying the price up front and you will not have this hefty bill at the end. So I was on a river cruise this summer and my bill at the end, I already paid my gratuities beforehand. My bill was $5. <laughs> I had two Sprites. I am a cheap date. It was two <laughs> Sprites. So it just shows you how you can go on this. Yeah, you'll have some excursions if you want to pay for them and do them, but they're there for you to opt in if you want. But honestly, there is a lot included every day. For me, it's enough. Maybe one of you, if you're doing France, maybe you want to do Moulin Rouge. You know, so there are some optional excursions for you to sign up for. 
not many, but they are there. And you'll see these if you want to when you get your documents, or you can always look at them, you know, online and you can see the excursions, you know, before you go. Um, but really, um, you know, for me, maybe I'll do one optional excursion. So on the left hand side, this is everything that is included. You get your sparkling wine with breakfast, your beer and wine for lunch and dinner, bottled water in the cabin. I'm going to read to you and show you too what's included in every day. So you have your choice of excursions that are included. All the cabins are outside. I showed you those French balconies. We've got two coffee stations that are included with your cappuccinos, your lattes. Those machines, the coffee, the lattes and the cappuccinos are so good. We have free Wi-Fi, choice of dining options, robes and slippers in every cabin, the L'Occitane products, and then in the back of the ship you have those snacks. So there are three different excursions that are offered throughout the day. Sometimes all of them can be offered at once, sometimes just a few. So you have your classic walking tours. These are just your must-see site walking tours. Then you have discovery. Discovery, these are engaging experiences like beer tasting, wine tasting, painting, going into somebody's home. And then we also have active. This is something new for us. But what we're finding is that we had six bikes on board and they were being signed out all the time. So now we doubled the amount of bikes on board and we added some active excursions. And again, I'm gonna read a couple things to you. Um, don't think that these active excursions or these active cruises are crazy active and you have to be a, a triathlon athlete, not at all. It's just these could be early morning walks or a hike. This could be kayaking, canoeing. So these are really um, nice additions that we put into Avalon. So for those of you that have been on Avalon, these are just a couple new things that we're adding for next year. So when you used to go on an Avalon cruise, there used to be a little station with two computers. Well, nobody's using these anymore because everybody's connected with their iPad or iPhone. If you need something printed out, we have a front desk. Our front desk is totally different than a big ship cruise. These people will, like if you need to get together with family or you want a restaurant to go to, you just go to the front desk, ask them for ideas if you need a taxi, Uber. So that front desk can print off if you need boarding passes printed or anything like that. So we are taking out those computer stations and we are putting in an adventure center. This adventure center will be on all of our ships. This is where you can sign out the, the bikes. You can get a Fitbit, walking sticks, yoga mats, your helmets for your bicycles, so there will also be an adventure host, and that host will be on every ship, and he or she will have yoga in the morning. They'll do the early morning walk. So we're adding a lot of new active excursions throughout how much is a glass of wine. I see a question. Should I wait till the end to answer the questions? I did answer it, but um, so that's... Oh, you did, included with dinner. Yeah, if you're wondering, like, at happy hour, you know, like, if you go to happy hour, an hour before dinner, it's two for one on everything. Um, but, like, for, like, what Robin said, beer and wine is included for dinner. And we call it the happy glass. I mean, as soon as, like, that glass goes down a little bit, they fill it up right away. So that's why most people want to sit there for the two hours of dinner. But you know what? Not everybody drinks. Maybe if you're docked overnight, at, like during dinner, people don't want to sit there for two hours and they want to go into town. So that's why we're doing this flex dining too. So this here is new on this slide. Uh, this is a new app that we have for Avalon. So about 45 days before they go, they can download this app and this will have everything that they need to know. Um, dining areas, sites, shopping, um, the docking positions, You'll see uh, navigation. So this is the new app that we have for Avalon, which is nice. I mentioned about the bikes. So we're actually bumping it up to 12 bikes on board and they are first come first serve. Um, but it's nice because they're brand new bikes. These are great bicycles and you'll find that people are getting a bike and they might meet the ship at the next port down. Um, you know, it's nice in Europe all of the towns have all these bike paths that go all the way down to the next, you know, docking position. 
I did an active discovery cruise this past summer. I did a 13 mile bike ride and it was flat. People were on bicycles I haven't been on in 25 years and they did perfectly fine with this bike ride. And I have to tell you, it was the most beautiful bike ride. And that's, you see a lot of cyclists over there. It's funny because my, my husband's mom, she's 83 and she is in the perfect shape because she was a cyclist and the Danube was what got her hooked on cycling. And you know, all these cyclists, they cycle along the river and they just stop in the hotels along the river. So you can uh, just be like one of the cyclists, right? And you could just uh, take your bike and go down to the next dock if you want, or just go for, you know, an hour bike ride. So this is a little pie chart. I like this because we do have some cruises that are active discovery, which we'll talk about. And we do have just classic river cruises like the Danube, the Rhine. So this here just shows you 80% of the excursions are just your classic walking tours. And then we'll have 10% that are active and 10% that are discovery. All right, so let's get into the itineraries that we're offering with Singles Travel International. This is a sample of the Rhine. So again, this here and the itinerary actually that we're offering starts here in Zurich and goes up to Amsterdam. Again, you see these towns all along the river. So the ship docks, you get off, you're right there. All the walking tours are included. You'll see here Heidelberg is off the river. So that one is a motor coach tour. So here when you look at the, or a motor coach ride to get out to Heidelberg and then it's a walking tour. So when you look at the highlights, there is a classic walking tour that's offered. There's a morning hike. Then you'll see there's another classic walking tour and then there's a discovery tour. So these are all of your options that are offered throughout the day. Sometimes it's either or, or sometimes you can do all of them, you know, because you're there during the day. But you will see when you look at the itinerary exactly what's included. So this is our first river cruise that we're looking at. And this is the Romantic Rhine for this year. There's still some availability for December 15th. Again, this starts in Zurich, and then the cruise, you start in Basel, and you take it up to Amsterdam. So you're in Basel, you're in Strasbourg, Heidelberg. I did this cruise two Christmases ago. It was so beautiful. It's exactly like you see in the pictures with all of these Christmas markets. And there is a Christmas market in every town. Yes, they are sir. so beautiful. It's so neat. I lucked out. I went two winters ago and it was very mild, but I have to warn you, it can be very cold. So I live in Florida, so I am a wuss. So I was so happy that it didn't snow and it was in the 60s, but some people wanted to snow because you want that, you know, that Christmas market experience with the cold weather and the snow. So yeah. I have pictures of me at the Christmas markets like a local drinking the glue vine and I have a short sleeve shirt on. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't fit. <laughs> let me tell you guys about, so, this. let me interject about oh, go ahead. this particular trip. First, yep. I had the pleasure of living in Germany for three years and it's the most oh. place on earth. I love this place. It's so fantastic. Yeah. You're not going to see much snow, but you're going to see a lot of other beautiful things. It's just like you said, mm -hmm. if you need to put the, you need the spirit of Christmas back in you. This is the thing for you. This is a fantastic trip. But when we put this trip up first, this has been up for almost, it's been up for over a year on our site. We had this, we waved a single supplement and they were gone in 24 hours. The reason we have a couple now is because we've had people who had to cancel for personal reasons. So we, this is a, a very great opportunity for you to grab these because this is unheard of that we have, that we actually have some of the space left. So definitely with the pre pre gratuities included, what a fantastic bonus that is. That's going to, that's another $150 right there. Um, definitely right. a couple of these guys. So I would grab this. And if you have any questions about Germany, I'm, I'm here to answer them. <laughs> because definitely. I love it. It's part of the world. <laughs> yeah. It really, it, it was so nice. I would do this again in a heartbeat. I absolutely love this itinerary. Um, and like Robin said, we have a wave single supplement available. And Robin, didn't you say you have a gentleman that's looking to we do. room with somebody yes, on this cruise? We have a male share on this. So you, if, if you'd like to do this, and like we said, those beautiful cabins, 
you're not in them very often. If you'd like to uh, save a lot of money and you're a guy, you can book our mail share on this and save a lot of money and enough money that you'd be able to do two river cruises next year um, if you take the share on this one. So we'd, we'd really love to, to match. Right. It. Well, and the thing about the share, too, you know, the air is lower because it's Christmas and you would get $500 off per person plus prepaid gratuities. Like Robin said, it's about $150. Um, and then I'm also doing uh, like a show discount, which is another $100 off per person. And that $100 off per person is no matter if you take this last wave single or you take a share. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is our first itinerary that we have. So we have the same one for 2019. Um, this one filled up pretty quick too. Um, but this is December 7th for 2019. I was actually surprised for 2018 that we still had some availability, but that will not be around too much longer. Um, so 2019, same thing. We have prepaid gratuities included, $500 off per person if you do the share, and I will also take another $100 off per person. So this is the same itinerary with the Christmas market. Um, I, again, I did this one couple Christmases ago and my bill maybe was ten dollars at the end of the trip. <laughs> Pretty inexpensive. I don't think I signed up for any optional excursions. I think maybe there was only like one offered. Uh my favorite on here and you've lived in Germany, so you've probably been to Strasbourg, France, oh, yeah. was absolutely beautiful with the Christmas market. Yeah, we've lived up we live about two hours from there. I have a, actually have a daughter born in Heidelberg, but this is a very unique town because oh actually used to be in Germany. This is a little trivia for you. It used to be in Germany and oh. it, after World War I uh, this town decided they didn't want to be German anymore and asked France if they could be French instead. And France said sure. How do you like that? They're right on the border. So uh, this town is very German in its look but it's actually in France. <laughs> so, right. it sounds like California, right? They don't and they have be beautiful pot yeah, and they have beautiful pottery there. It's a very good, it's a big pottery town. So if you love Yeah, pottery, and just the decorations were so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's really, really nice beautiful to cathedral and that's just a gorgeous love this little town. We should go there a lot. A lot. Yeah. Uh, so our next one up is Tulips of Northern Holland. Um, we do have some availability, but this date is going very fast. Uh, just because this itinerary is a fairly newer one for us, um, because it's more of Northern Holland. So this is April 12th of 2019. Uh, this one here, your highlight is Kuchenhof. So you can choose a full day at Kuchenhof, which is all of the flowers at Kuchenhof. Um, it's an all day visit and it's like the flower museum, you know, times a hundred percent. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. And if you catch it at the right time, you're gonna see these fields of tulips like you see in this picture. Um, so this one is Amsterdam to Amsterdam. Um, also remember if you ever want pre nights and post nights, if they're available, we can do it. Um, you just request it. Um, I like this one. You can go have some cheese and get some Gouda. Uh, this is a great river cruise. So this one here, again, it's filling up pretty quick. So um, am I correct that we do not have any more wave single supplements on this one, right, you Robin? Correct. You are correct. These are they're all gone. Now we might have a cancellation. Yeah. So that fills up. Okay. Yeah. Those are gone. Cancellation. Yeah, so prepaid gratuities are included in this if you want to do double occupancy. Uh, the promotion, just because it is almost sold out, is $250 off per person, so you won't see a high promo. Again, I have that show discount, so that's another $100 off per person. Um, and again, you get your prepaid gratuities, which is nice. So we're going to talk a little bit about these new itineraries that we have. So. We saw that the bikes were being signed out all the time. Demographics are changing a little bit. So on our classic river cruises, we added some more. You know what? I'm sorry. You know what I wanted to do with you guys? Let me go back a second. I'm not just going to read um, a couple things here for the 
you'll have time, Cruz. If you just give me a second here, I wanted just to read a day or two off to you. Let me just get this in front of me here. Because I showed you that one slide for the Rhine. So just a few things that are included for tulip time. Just in a typical day. So like let's say in Rotterdam, there's two classic walking tours. You can join a full or a half day guided tour of Kuchenhof. Or you can take the afternoon guided tour of Gouda. Also, the day before is in Arnheim. You have a discovery one, which is an onboard lecture about the authentic making um, their local cake. There is also a classic walking tour of the Airborne Museum, and that's in Arnheim. And then there's another classic walking tour um, that is of the Mueller Museum and the world's second largest Van Gogh collection. So this just kind of gives you a couple samples of what's included. Um, there's also another one where in the morning, there's a morning walk, and then also there's a classic walking tour of another museum, or there's a discovery one that, take, that takes you to the Dutch flower farm. So these are just a couple of the excursions that are offered throughout the day. What's nice now, what we're doing with Avalon, is we're listing exactly what's included every day, and we're also telling you what you're doing at night, if you're docked overnight or if you're cruising at night. So that's why we did that flex dining, because if you're docked overnight, you know, you may not want to sit there for two hours during dinner, and you might want to go into town. So back to the active discovery cruises. Um, what we decided to do uh, last year is add a couple new itineraries, and these are active discovery. You know, it's funny because I think the word active scares people off. I don't want you to think that, you, again, you have to be a triathlon athlete to do this. You don't. And I'm going to read a couple of excursions for you. So I did this. It was amazing. I did the active Rhine. I'm sorry, the active Danube. And I actually cruised a lot more during the day. And what we did is we pulled over, dropped off people to take a hike, and I cruised down the Danube and read a book. And I'm like, oh, well, this is a nice active cruise, right? <laughs> yeah. So I just want to show you an example of the active discovery, which is on the left-hand side, and our regular classic line. What you're going to see is that the cruise doesn't go as far, it doesn't go all the way to Zurich. So this is actually, you're cruising on an active cruise, you're cruising more during the day. And it's more port intensive. So you're staying longer in each port. So that's a couple differences with these active cruises. They're very nice. So on an active discovery cruise, 40% of the excursions are active, 40% are discovery and 20% are just your classic walking tours. So this is our first one for active discovery. This is the active discovery line. We actually have two dates. We have June 8th and July 13th for next year. Both of these still have no single supplements, so waived single supplements. If you decide to pair up, it's $1,000 off per person for double occupancy. And I'm also doing another $100 off for the show. So this cruise is amazing. Let me just read just a couple things that it just gives you an example of what is offered. Like in Cologne, Germany, if you want in the morning, it's funny. We have running tours in the morning. Only a few people sign up for that one. So we have Discovery. Join off the beaten path guided tour to, to discover the quarter, the Belgian quarter of Cologne. And I know I'm saying this wrong, Robin, isn't it? Cologne, Germany. I know I'm saying it wrong. I don't say, say it like the Germans. Or we have an, another discovery, which takes you to the Chocolate Museum. Or we have a classic walking tour of Cologne. So you'll see even on the active ones, there are a lot of other excursions. There's another one in Rudesheim. There's just the classic walking tour of Rudesheim. Or we also have a guided volcano experience. Or there's an active one 
which you go up to the castle and take a tour of the castle, of the Marksburg Castle. So these are just a couple of examples of what's included in day to day. So these are the two that we have for 2019 for your active discovery line. So this is very exciting. Tammy was really trying to get this one. This is a brand new itinerary for next year. This is the active Rome. So this is France. This is your Burgundy and Provence. So this one here, it's active discovery. You'll see some of what's included here. There's a guided hike, classic walking tour of Arles. And then there's also a discovery, which is a painting workshop for Van Gogh. Um, this again is also, this is one of my favorites. Also, I guess I have favorites, they're all my favorite. Um, but this is a great river cruise. On a typical Burgundy and Provence cruise, um, this goes like all the way down towards Nice. So again, you'll see it's more port intensive and you're cruising more during the day. Um, so this is a great river cruise. Again, Tammy was really wanting um, this one because it was a new itinerary and thought that you guys would be interested in this. So this is the active Rhone. This goes southbound. This is August 13th, 2019. We have no single supplements or waived single supplements on this also. We just opened this up, so we have quite a bit. And also, if you want to double up, these are $1,000 off per person, double occupancy. And I'll also uh, give another $100 off per person. So I also wanted to mention, I know Rob and I were talking about these promos. So our promotions, we have a revenue manager looking at these promotions every weekend. So these promotions can get pulled on the weekends. So I pulled this all up on Monday. So all of these are current, but they could expire this weekend because of, you know, the ships filling up. So the wave singles that I'm mentioning, we do have these, but we do have limited amounts. So these can go very fast. I know we're expecting a big, busy day tomorrow, right, Robin? So definitely book these early. So the Mekong, uh, Singles Travel International had a charter a couple years ago, and they absolutely loved it. So we're going to move a little exotic here. Um, this is Vietnam, Cambodia, and the Mekong. Um, these are just some of the excursions that you can add, but Vietnam, Cambodia, and the Mekong, this is this year, November 26, 2018. We still have five waived single supplements, no single supplements. If you want to double up, it's $500 off per person. And again, I will give another $100 off per person. So this ship is a fairly new ship. Only 18 cabins, so only 36 people on board. So very intimate. Um, a lot of my friends have been on this cruise, and they say this is one of those vacations that just changes you. Um, kind of like Africa, just amazing. The pe people are absolutely wonderful. Um, these are just a couple pictures. Um, this is the cabin up here on the top left. These cabins are 245 square feet, and again, Face the sliding glass door. So these are very large cabins. Same like Avalon Europe, great for two people, you know, the beds separate, plenty of room if you have a roommate. So these are just a couple pictures of the ship. So very nice. So Robin, I am ready for any questions and I know you wanted to show a couple things. So yeah, I just wanted to point I am good. Things that that was fantastic, Denise. Thank you so much. It was very informative. Very oh, no problem. Just a couple of things I want to throw out there before we get to some questions. We have a couple of questions in here. You're gonna you see pictures of of course on all and all travel things with a big bed. We never expect people to share a bed when you're sharing a cabin. Those beds split into twins, just like uh, right. Robin, Laura Petri, you got you got, two, you got twin beds. No one's sharing a bed, so don't worry about that. And um, as far as um, the special offer, what's going to happen is when we go to book, I'm going to go out of here. I'm going to I'm going to make myself the presenter here, and then you're going to see. 
my screen. Okay. Um, this is our website, singlestravelintl.com. And if you click on cruises or if you actually go to all trips right here, a little quick lesson on how to use the site. If you come, if you go down to trip activities, this is where we list a lot of goodies, things that we're looking at. You can go Avalon Waterways and you can see that things that way. Or you can go down all the way down to River Cruise and hit River Cruise and hit Find Trips. Simple as that. We say the less parameter, the better. You're going to get some stuff. This is all of the river cruises we've got. So this is your easy way to get to all of our river cruises and see what's available. Um, I've got. To, I'm going to go over some questions first. You have to forgive me. This this screen for some reason it's so small. It's very hard to read. So I'm going to go up to the top. If I miss your question, let me know or send me a message on the chat or raise your hand. Okay. I see people heard a baby sneezing. Mm, I don't know what that is, but <laughs> there's no baby here. So, um, okay, I'm going to get to some questions that I can actually answer about some people are having some uh, audio problems. But, okay. Uh, I got to go up. Ooh, there's a lot of questions in here. So let's start with, okay. I've been on a few ocean cruises, but never on a river cruise. Please explain the similarities and the differences. I think you did a great job with that. Um, okay, okay. On to that one. I am single. Can I book a cabin for myself? Yes, Vance. That's what we're talking about. When we say no single supplement, you get your own cabin, and we are not making you pay a supplement to have that space to yourself. That's what the urgency is here. Those cabins are few and far between. We only have, I think we have 39 total. And all, all of all these right. resources. So if you want your own cabin and don't want to pay the single supplement, which is almost double sometimes, usually is, uh, um, this we suggest you grab one of these right away. That's the, your best opportunity. So let's get. Let's and you know what, Robin? One thing mm -hmm. I didn't mention about river cruising versus big ship cruising is if you get seasick, you know, river cruising, it's like you're on a lake. There is no motion. So I can't right. guarantee that you're not going to get seasick if you're super sensitive, but most people that are seasick on big ship cruising is not, they do not get seasick on big cruising, which is nice. Right. Yes. Good point. Yeah. This is not at all ocean bearing. This is very, no. all the way. Oh, and Vance has a guitar and he wants to bring it along. Absolutely. Please, Vance, bring in your guitar. We would. Oh, please. Yes. Yes. We have some entertainment out in that beautiful decks at night so definitely want you to do that okay so definitely i'm okay gonna go i'm going to the next one okay what percent of the ship will be sti will the sti group have uh, james this is to our you know <laughs> go ahead. this I'll, I'll answer this and denise probably has her own way of tangling this but here's what it is guys we we hesitated to offer these because they sell so quickly because you can see how small the ships are that singles tend to wait to book something where, where couples are out they're ma they're making plans they're taking names they're making plans they're getting on with their lives we suggest you do the same sign up for one of these because once the space is gone it's gone and we can't get it back and it's not like a big three thousand five thousand passenger ship that we can just keep selling up until the last minute when these, when this space is gone, and it will be, um, there's no way to get you on there. So we like to get these. The earlier we book, the more people we can get on there, the better. But we can't hold the space if it's not deposited. Um, we can't hold it. They're going to sell it to somebody else. So it's up to you to make this, to make these go. Our first Ryan cruise, we did. We had almost a whole ship. We did that charter for Mekong was fantastic mm -hmm. yeah and cabins so that's yeah. a very unique opportunity um it's very hard for us to you know do a charter for 166 people so um that's right. my answer but i'm sure denise has her own so go for it denise yeah no, i was going to say it's it's really up to all of you you know how many of you travel even if it's only and and we're not even at that point right now but let's say it's it's only five of you What's nice about a river cruise is that, you know, it's open seating for dinner. There's not assigned seats. You get to know everybody on board. 
you know, it's, it's great. Cause I, I remember like my first tour that I went on with Globus, I was by myself. I had such a great time. I think I have more, a, a better time going by myself than when I've gone with my friends or my husband. And it is just, it's, it's a great experience when you're on as a single, but you know that there will be other singles on here because we do have these wave single supplements, but it's nice because of the open seating. You know, we have, seating of six or seating of eight. We have some that are a four. We do have some that are two, but you get to know everybody on board, which is nice and you get to mix and mingle. So it is nice that we don't have a sign table, you know, and you can just move around every night and get to know everybody on the ship, which is good. That's great. Yeah. And it's small. You're not, you're not hoofing in yeah. miles to get from one to the other. You're rushing late for dinner, things like that. Right. So Jim right. wants to know right. what percentage of our passengers are over 65 years old. I don't know if she's, that question is for you, Denise, or for singles travel, but I'll ask for singles travel and you can answer for Avalon. Um, our average travel, okay. our average traveler is 48 to 65, but we have lots of travelers who are over the age of 65 who come with us, but our average is 48 to 65. So you won't be the oldest and you won't be the youngest. So um, you'll fit right in. Right. Yeah, so our average on Avalon is early 60s. It's funny because when Avalon first started, the, the demographics were much older. Mm -hmm. Because when we had our river cruises, these were two-week cruises, three-week cruises. But now because, and you'll see what we're offering, are the shorter cruises. Yeah. So the demographics are, are, you know, lower on the shorter cruises. But we're seeing that our demographics are changing, and it's getting younger. And that's why we added those active discovery cruises. Good, good option. Good idea. Great idea. Yeah. Okay. So now we got, let's see. Uh, okay, Denise, we have another Denise here who asks $100 off what price? I think we've covered that, but I'm going to be clear one more time. What's going to happen is when you book your, when you book your cruise, we're going to go through this right now. This is a good opportunity. So say you just cannot wait to get on one of these river cruises, and I don't blame you because it's, they're so fantastic. So if you decide you'd like to do that Mekong in November, here we go. I'm on the page for the for this November cruise. And then our site is already set up with the special offers that Denise has offered us. And then if you click book now, you're going to see the price. So what's going to happen is we will adjust. Um, Avalon, first of all, will adjust your price with $100 off. So they're going to do that for us. And then we're going to take $100 off when we send over your invoice. So this so if you if you choose to book your own cabin on the main deck, you're going to be fifty eight ninety nine, not fifty nine ninety nine. That's the additional hundred. These prices are already um, on the site and ready to go, and these are only through the eighth of August. That is that is if they stay that long with Avalon. If they, if they pull them sooner, then we we have no control over that. But we're going to offer the prices through the eighth of August. So that gives you a week. If you need to um, give it some thought, I wouldn't give it too much thought because they are going to go like this webinar had over 400 people registered. We're going to send it out to everybody. They can watch. They're going to, they're going to see the offers and they're going to come in and they're going to go, they're going to grab a cabin. So that's just how this is going to work for you. So when you see this part, just know that you're going to count on an extra hundred dollars off of your final payment when it comes across, when it comes through. So these are some great deals. Look at the deal here for no, for your own cabin. That's a human. Mm -hmm. That's Almost five thousand dollars. It is, but because, like you said, normally these are double. You know, yeah, you don't have a double. Week single. You know, everything's we all in the single world know everything's based on double occupancy. And then we have these great packages in Hanoi and um, um, Halong Bay. All of these things. We have transfers for you. Um, then you can step to the other side and stay in Ho Chi Minh City. We've got all this stuff to extend your time because some people can get away longer. If you're flying this far away, we we you might just want to stay and see as much of this part of the world as you can while you're there. So that's my answer for that one. That's kind of a long answer, but that kind of covered it. So here's on the Mekong cruise. Alyssa asks, on the Mekong cruise, when do I can't see when do I can't get it to when do you fly when do you have to fly there? Oh. All of our trips, let me take a look at this. We'll answer this as well. We're going to go back to the, this is the highlights of the trip. Our itineraries here is going to list every day what you're doing, every day what stop, what meals are included, of course, with every, it's everything with Avalon, so not a problem here. But if, if you go to our FAQs, this is where you're going to get a lot of those questions answered. Um, 
is there for included? How should I schedule my flights? We always have right in here in order to be on your tour, what time you need to be and what date and what airport. So this is all here. And then again, what time is this crucial for booking your flights? And then if you're going home, when you can book your flight out so you're not too rushed as you're getting off the ship. So all those are on every trip. We have FAQs, all kinds of things um, that whatever you're thinking of. Here's our penalties if you cancel, things like that. What to What's the weather going to be like in November in the Mekong Delta? Things like that. Baggage allowance, passports, being vaccinations. All of these things are, are going to be listed on all of our trips, and that's where you find them. So let's go to the next one. Okay, DP says, what is the average age of the passengers? Okay, we already answered that one. Sorry, baby, hope you got your code there. And then Tammy says, for the Christmas markets, do you uh, have to pay? Uh, okay, I don't know why this thing does this. It's so small, I can't read it. Um, it's like this. It's like one line. Do you have to pay? Do you have to pay for Christmas? Oh, okay, for the Christmas markets. <laughs> uh, for the Christmas markets, do you have? Do you advise cash or credit card? Oh, for the Christmas market shopping. This is a shopper here. We got a shopper. Oh yeah, you know I had both. Um, <laughs> I remember I bought like this really nice ceramic bell um, when I was in Strasbourg and I paid with a credit card, um, but I would definitely bring some cash just for little things. But yeah, either one is fine. Um, like, especially like the ornaments and stuff like that, you know, they, they don't cost very much to buy at the Christmas market. So definitely I would bring some euros also. Absolutely. Yeah. So either way, but I did use my credit card. Yeah, definitely have some euros. You can cash those. You um we suggest you either get them before you travel at the airport or when you land at the airport, or your bank mm -hmm. might charge you a little. Right. Airport's going to be a little higher, but um, you know, for convenience purposes, and you can sell them back whatever you don't spend um, um, when you go home. So the next question is, uh, uh, can you explain the single supplement again? I'm going to let Denise do that because she's our professional, and then I'll embellish it if we need this, anything else to do. The wave single, yeah. I know. So <laughs> on those sailings where we said that we had waived singles. That just means that you're not paying double. So you're paying that one per person price based on double occupancy. So you're not paying double. So if the cruise price is, you know, $24.99, you're only paying the one twenty four ninety nine. Like on a typical cruise, if you travel as a single, you're paying $24.99 times two. So you are only paying that one price and you're not getting dinged because you're taking up a cabin just with one person. Um, where some of these sailings were already full with the wave single, then we just have double occupancy and you would need to, you know, pair up with somebody um, or share with somebody. But we do, like you said, what did you say? We have 29? I think 39. Spot left with 39, sorry, 39 uh, spots that you don't have to pay that ding and get doubled on the price and you have no supplement, which is nice. Yeah. It's a great opportunity. I mean, it's, it's it, you know, usually when you travel, you, you we all know you take the space and the, they're assuming it's for two people and you're paying for two people, even if it's just you. So this is why right. it's such a unique opportunity. Right. We don't want you to miss out. And one thing also I wanted to mention is that these are not single cabins. We don't have single cabins. These are the regular cabins. Like I know Big Ship Cruising, they have cabins that are four singles, so they're a little bit smaller. In these cabins, you could either book the Ds and the Es that are on the bottom, which are 172 square feet, or you can take an A, a B, or a P and take that upgrade with the floor to ceiling sliding glass door. And you can still take that, you know, as a wave single. So it's nice that we don't have single cabins. So, you know, again, you're not getting penalized because you're single and getting dinged twice, and we're not putting you in a smaller cabin. So it's nice because you still have the same size cabin. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can have a fantastic vacation and not be bumping into yeah. the time. Yep. Okay, so Definitely. our next question is, if area if areas have excessive rain, do people ever get moved to a bus on land? Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the problem, um, honestly, which we're having these last two weeks, is not enough rain, not rain. on yeah. the river. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's just, you don't know. Um, it's the chance you take with a river cruise. It's mother nature, like any vacation, it can mess you up a little bit. Um, but that's why I say, you have Globus backing up Avalon. Like these last two weeks, we have received emails every day. If we don't get rain, this is what we're doing. We have to move this ship, uh, wait on this ship, do this. Um, you know, unfortunately it happens quick. And we have to make quick decisions. And yes, I'll give you an example. Unfortunately, there was one two weeks ago where it was kind of quick where we had to make a decision where the people that got there, we couldn't get them in time. We couldn't contact them in time. So they showed up and the ship could not even get started. And we didn't get rain. So they said to everybody, you can go home. We will get you home. as a tour so they still got a vacation and they got half their money back so yeah. we are very proactive if we know ahead of time that this is happening and this is going to mess you up for a couple days on your trip we won't operate it but unfortunately it can happen kind of fast mm-hmm. um, sometimes it rains we think we're going to be okay and then we're not okay um, but they are so proactive and not reactive that they have plans in place you know knowing that if it doesn't rain tomorrow, this is what we need to do. Or if it doesn't rain in the next couple of days, this is what we need to do. It can be too much water. It can be not enough water. Um, unfortunately, it's happened twice now in the last 10 years that there was a ship stuck in the middle of the river. And then nobody could get through. <laughs> not even little boats. <laughs> so, you know, again, it's just mother nature. It can happen with any vacation, but there's a plan in place and you're taken care of. And I think it actually happened with you guys one year yeah. and we didn't get any complaints, you know, and, and we had a plan B and a plan C. We had that a couple of years. I think it was the frog and Budapest, frog to Budapest. And yeah, yeah. I, uh, there was a low water area and they, you guys just got our people and took them down to the next place where the ship could be, where they could go. And, we didn't really hear anybody complain about it. They just, it was great. And they just, it was so smooth. And of course, you know, mother nature can do that sometimes. But I always say that's where the memories are made. You say, remember that year? We went on that river. <laughs> it was only a puddle and there was no river. <laughs> so, you know, and yeah. I know. It right. doesn't happen very often. I mean, you know, uh, excessive rain and less rain, you know, things like that. It's part of the vacation experience for sure. Um, right. Next question. Isn't it, don't, it's just what they say. It's not how you get through plan A. It's how you get through plan B, C, That's and D, right? right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So our next question is from Victor, and he says, can a vegetarian survive on a cruise? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, we do have vegan options. Um, it's funny because we actually have a group of people that are looking to book a group that are plant-based. Um, not even just vegan, they are plant based and, uh, yeah, we can do it. It's, um, the menus are all labeled, you know, vegetarian, gluten free. Um, you just give a heads up before we go, um, before you go on the trip and also you let them know when you get on the ship. Um, but you'll see, you know, like for lunch, it's a salad bar. Um, so you're perfectly fine. But then for dinner, we have uh, vegan options, which is nice. We actually, um, two years ago, they're called the Rank Brothers. Their parents had the first vegan restaurant in Austria, and these two brothers have a vegan restaurant in Vienna. Um, and they um, came on board and changed up our menu because there are a lot of people that are gluten-free, sugar-free, yeah. uh, vegan. So we changed up our menu so, you know, we can – be that to everybody and we can have some vegan options and gluten-free options. Yes, absolutely. There's so many options anymore for people. They're so accommodating for everyone with special needs. It's just really, um, right. The world has opened up for everyone who I have several friends who can't eat anything. (laughs) 
travel and have a week. <laughs> I'm like, I can't eat that. I'm like, oh, you're missing out. <laughs> so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we got through our questions. So if anyone else has any more questions, ask now because we're going to let you all go and do take a look at these trips that we have. And, of course, if you have questions, we're available 95 Eastern. Um, and our phone number is 877 877- 765-6874, or if you like to just think 877-SOLO-TRIP, that's the best way to reach us as well. Um, we're going to take care of you. Once your bookings come through, we're going to take that $100 off that Avalon's giving you for booking. And these prices and these special offers are only good through the 8th of August. Um, I'm sure that no single supplements will be gone anyway, but as far as the special pricing for the share, mm-hmm. That's, those are going to be gone August 8th. So you have seven days. Grab a friend and come with. You know our share policy, actually. I'm going to re- reiterate it for you. As long as you are booked in a share and paid in full at final payment, we guarantee you a match. We're going to match you up with someone. So booking quickly and booking often is your best way. And so if you don't have a friend who has the same calendar or budget or bucket list that you do, that's what we're here for. And we've been here for almost 25 years, Matt, helping singles travel and not have to stay home. So this is another thing that we do for you with no single supplement, roommate matching. If you want to save extra money and share, we've got you covered. So that's our final pitch on that. Just wanted to let you know in case you have questions about the sharing. It's also on our site. Also, if you want to take a look at our on the back end of our site, we have Scroll, 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 keep scrolling. Um, at the bottom of the page, we have this little link to our blog. And you can find some really great articles in here about different parts of the world, um, different kinds of travel. Here's our new calendar. That's up. Um, that's for next year. But if you go through here, you can find the categories and you can click on river cruises. We have a couple of great blogs in here. Um, this is uh, adding adding things to your vacation, so you're spent getting your air price of your air tickets <laughs> worth paid for, so you can spend a little more time in these faraway regions of the world. And then here is uh, objection meet the objections about river cruising, so you can take a look and see what it is um, that people have objections about, and then we can cover those for you. It's a little great reading there for you to learn about. So just wanted to let you know that is available. And, of course, we can answer questions as well. So I'm going to let you guys go. I, we promised you just an hour, and we're going to do that for you. We hope you've enjoyed this, and I think we got some great information from Denise, and I cannot wait to go on another cruise now. Now my bucket list. Me too. Me too. As usual. <laughs> Thank you for having me, everyone. Yes, my bucket list is longer yet again, and Denise is going to help us get this. <laughs> so you guys have a one. Exactly. And we'll be here for you and get you booked on these river cruises. So everyone, have a wonderful night, and we'll talk to you soon from Singles Travel International. Good night. Thank you. Bye.